Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I made the shirt to my daughter's Little Red Riding Hood costume. The cape for this costume was the inspiration as I made it two years ago for my mother's Mary Sanderson costume. I drafted the pattern for my mannequin I have as close to my daughter's size. It is going to be a basic button-up shirt with a few changes. I am using white broadcloth to make this shirt. I'm cutting out a back piece on the fold and two front pieces plus a button placket and the buttons I have 3D printed to about an inch in diameter. And the sleeves for this shirt will be a three-quarter length with a cuff on the bottom. For the button placket, I cut a 3 inch wide strip of fabric for each side of the shirt and I fold those in half and then I stitch those down to make a long tube. Down the front of the shirt in between the actual shirt front and the button placket, I will be gathering some lace to go all the way down the front of it. Here I'm just roughly pleating it down the shirt front so I can baste it on.
and with the lace basted on, I go ahead and sew the shirt placket on top of that. And as I've said before, since I do own a serger, I go ahead and serge all my edges so my fabric doesn't fray. With the lace and the placket on, I go ahead and fold in my inside seam towards the sides and iron that down and then I will top stitch all that down so the lace stays in place and that seam allowance will stay in place as well. With both sides of the shirt front done, I go ahead and attach those two pieces to the corresponding back piece along the shoulders. For the collar of this shirt, I am actually gathering some more of that lace around the neckline. And then I will also top stitch this down as well to keep the seam allowance in place. For the ends of the lace, I am doing a rolled hem on them. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the sleeves, which is just a normal basic And with the sleeves on, I go ahead and take the underarm seams, match those up, and I will sew a straight stitch all the way from the end of the sleeve, pivot at the armpit, and then go all the way down to the hem. With most of the shirt done, I go ahead and make my buttonholes. And right now you see me using my little handy dandy buttonhole marker uh, going horizontal. However, I did end up changing that and made the buttonholes go vertical. 
I was planning on putting seven buttons in this, however, because I forgot about the hem, I could only put six. And with that, we have buttonholes. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach my 3D printed buttons that I had painted brown. And with the buttonholes, I lined up my buttonhole pockets together and I used the openings as my guide of where to put the button. And I just use my sewing machine to attach the buttons. I do a zigzag stitch, but I put my feed dogs down so it does not move. For the hem of the shirt, I go ahead and give it a simple rolled hem. For the cuffs of the sleeve, I go ahead and cut out a 4 inch wide strip of fabric. I originally first used the poly cotton as a shirt, but then changed it to a stretch fabric. I match up the short side of the strip and sew that down to make a loop. And then I took that loop and folded it in half and sewed up that open side. And then I go ahead and attach that to the sleeve. If you are doing this, make sure you stretch out that knit part to encompass the entire sleeve so that way when it's released, the sleeve will gather at that seam. And with that, you have a finished shirt, and it's a good base for her Little Red Riding costume. Next video, I will go ahead and show you how I created the skirt, and I had already created the cape, which I will leave a link to that video um, in the iCard and in the description box if you want to take a look at that.
And as always, please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.